Good afternoon, friends and fans. Another day, another outfit, another video. Before I start talking, I just want to point out this very fashion-forward jewelry choice that I made today. I think that the pop of yellow and the bright pink flowers are something that, you know, why would you pick it to go with this? Isn't there enough going on already? And the answer is no, there isn't. And you should go for that pop of color, especially in these challenging times. So I'm here today equipped with Sharpies. No, I'm not coloring my hair, but I do have a large pad and we're gonna discuss some DIY things. I wanna start by saying it looks like we're headed into another one of those winters where we're going to have to socially distance and be in pods and stay home a lot and all those things. And you know what I have to say to that? And I recognize that I'm coming from a position of extreme privilege and I'm not, I, I don't want anybody to be offended. But anyway, we're getting a do-over. How often in life do you get a do-over? We get to do Pandemic Winter Point Two. Well, 2.0, excuse me. Pandemic Winter 2.0. So you know that closet that you were gonna clean out and those clothes that you were gonna go through and that language that you were gonna learn? You get to do it all over again. And all those things that you said, God, I wish I had known earlier, I could have done A, B, C, and D. You can do all of that now. And I think that number one on everybody's list is, damn, if I had known, I would have done that DIY toilet paper project. You know? And we've come full circle. It's the circle of life. I started out with toilet paper, and I'm coming back for toilet paper. <laughs> Does that suggest that I could be full of shit? Probably. Okay, let's go on with the toilet paper DIYs. So there, there are many ways that you can do this, and I'm just gonna give a brief overview, and I'll put all of the links, you know, in the, in the section below, and, and you can look them up. You can cut up scraps of material. One of my favorites, dryer lint. Dryer lint is one of the best DIY materials. You take the dryer lint, you put it in a box, you keep stuffing it in, 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 in. When the box is so jam packed, you put it in the freezer for a bit, you take it out, you slice it, and there you go. Nice, even squares of toilet paper. I have never tried any of these things. I've only seen them on the internet. I cannot be responsible for what happens in your home but I can suggest that you try them. There are lots of other ways to make toilet paper. There are lots of things that we can get going and start doing. Anyway, thank you for your time.